this will be the morning after the night before. <laughs> Looking at me, I look like I've, <laughs> I've been out of the morning after the night before. This is Monday morning after Storm Ashley. So I thought I'd come and have a look and inspect the beach and see what's to do and what's occurring. Um, so I've walked, I've walked to the cafe and I'm going to walk back with the wind at the back of me and then, and then you'll be able to hear what I'm saying, hopefully. It's beautiful. It's one of them lovely windy mornings. Windy, sunny mornings. I'm going to turn this round and I'm just going to show you the guys working here because a little bit of wind doesn't stop doesn't stop the beach works right just a second it's just disappearing out of view at the back of the, that little dumper truck but there's a man there's a man metal detecting <laughs> i think he's expecting that he's uh, had something good washed up and can you see the sand blowing on the top of this sandbank here where it's dried the top the top layer of sand and it's just blowing it like the sahara desert these these guys are out already um, playing at playing at sand pies and doing whatever it is they're doing today. Anyway, that's not what we've come looking for. So I have to say, last night when we went to bed, it was getting a wee bit noisy and a wee bit windy. Oh heck! The bathing water sign notice has blown off, so that's come off. Um, ouch! That's gone for a Burton. There's a great big black thing down there. I'm not quite sure what it is. A little lump of plastic. And yesterday, these marker poles are brilliant because we can now see how deep the water is. But at high tide at dinner time yesterday, the water was literally right up to the very top of the marker pole. And I think it's been up and over during the night because there's a ton of sand up here in quite a bit of flotsam and jetsam. Let's go and have a look around here. Yeah, we've got a little sand pit look. And it looks as if the scaffolding that they've got up at the cafe's had a bit of a wallop as well. Because I noticed as I came round this morning, there's a, there's a leg missing on this piece here. There's a leg missing. Are you one of our, you're one of ours, aren't you? There's a leg missing on this one. And this one, this one round here is at a rakish angle. So I reckon the sea's done that. That's some force, you know, isn't it? If the sea's managed to bend a pole like that, that is some force. Anyway, my little signs are still up, look. So my little cable ties worked exceptionally well last night. It's not always the quality. And other than that, I would say everything else looks pretty much like it was yesterday. We'll go for a walk along the edge of the, the path. Because there's a lot of crap washed up. Um, and well, oh, the, the thing's filled in. I've just asked the Balfabita lads to fill the They think I'm going off my head. I've just asked them to fill this ramp in at the bottom here because last week there was a great big puddle. They'll be saying she's gone loopy. There's a great big puddle and you couldn't get up the slade, so they've already done it. <laughs> They'll be saying, <laughs> she's off her head that one. But then you all knew that anyway, didn't you? There's loads of bits of driftwood washed up. Um, but. It's pretty much as it was last week before any wind started. Other than that, doesn't look a lot different at all. So you see, the point of these groins is that it reduces the turbulence before it gets to the top of the wall. The groin doesn't need to go right to the top of the wall in order for it to work. And you can see with that long one there, there's not tons and tons of beach material washed away and there's not tons and tons of beach material washed away on this top section either. There's a bit gone because this were absolutely full of vegetation down here. But after all that weather, you wouldn't expect it to look exactly the same. 
um, and you can see better. You can see better up here, so I'm going to take you up here and we'll have a look near where the cars can park. This is where it starts to get a bit more messy. It's always messy, this bit of promenade here. Um, so if you remember, they'd filled, they'd filled the top section in to create a roadway, which they've not been using because they're not working down there. And a little bit of that's washed away. I've got a nice, um, I'm not sure what that is. Is it a ladder or is it a fence? Or is it a support for a sign? There's half the beach on the path. The council have already been out this morning with the road sweeper and they've cleaned the road and got rid of a lot of sand up there. I found some photos the other day, I was looking for something else and I found some photos taken in 2021 before they started doing anything on the beach um, of the, the council cleaning up after a storm and shifting sand. Can you see that white thing there? That looks like a piece of highways, you know that plastic highways barrier that they fill with water to make it heavy? Big lump of rope, uh, rope? tree stump even. And this, this made me smile. There's a McVitie's packet here. Look, McVitie's, McVitie's, oh the taste is they're not the right one, but they're the right colour <coughs> and the right brand. Um, <laughs> woof woof. <coughs> they're the right colour and the right brand for what came off the river dam's shipwreck. I never saw the biscuits. <coughs> But the ice cream man, Terry, was showing me some photos the other day and he's got a photo in his cabin of the beach absolutely covered in packets of McVitie's digestives. I think they must have all come ashore up at central Cleveland's and by the time they got down here they'd disintegrated. So this is the interesting bit. So this bit here lasts summer I think it was no not last summer the summer before was really badly eroded you, this there were another four or five of these steps that they come right out to the end of there which I didn't know they come out to where the rocks are um, so the, the whole of the beach was all exposed right down to goodness knows where and this is the tow protection that they've also done at Fleetwood and the idea of the tow protection is to stop the beach material being eroded when there's a storm and lo and behold look what's happened the groins are not finished there's no groins joined up from the crossover ramps up to the top which there will be eventually um, so it's it's not finished it's not done but this shingle at the back of here looks much like it did before the storm that's amazing that isn't it who would have thunk it done really well look putting my little signs up this has got a QR code on it and if you scan it it takes you to all the information about the beach management so we've not done bad really have we we've not done bad at all little turnstones uh, oh there's one here look can you see this one the, there's two there just straight in front of us you might be able to see something moving they're looking for what they can find after the stormy weather there's quite a few of them actually they're just invisible so we've not done bad really we've not done bad at all actually that's done quite a good job of keeping the beach on the on the beach when you see how much sand there is washed up behind us and this bit's fairly fairly not bad well said well 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 it's a nice trunk that's a bobby does like that isn't it <coughs> said bobby dazzler well that's worked astonishingly well i have to say so this i'm trying not to get my feet wet so this groin here will join up to its concrete crossover ramp for pedestrians to get across and then the rocks will join up to here and when it's all complete and joined up 
you'll get a, a more stable a more stable beach. There's another bit of that red door there, look. Well, I think we've got away lightly there from Storm Ashley. It had even blown in my back garden some um, big ceramic, you know, big ceramic pots that you plant up with bedding plants. It had even blown three of them over. And in all the years I've lived here, I've never had any pots blown over in my back garden. So it's been windy. And you can see which way it's blowing. Look, it's southwest, I would say. It's right under that flag. So you can see which way it's blowing. Oh, and here's another one. I need a cable tie on that corner as well, look. Wow, sir. That's amazing. So, I mean, I enjoyed this little walk around a lovely morning in Cleveland. It's absolutely glorious. I could just enjoy going for a, a right long walk. You see Blackpool in the background, look. Don't forget to subscribe. Make sure that you hit the bell for notifications and sign up for your email newsletter and then you'll get all of the updates all of the time. And we'll see you soon. Bye for now.